want to talk today about um, a little game called Shut the Box and uh, it's not an expensive game to buy but you can make it even cheaper <laughs> if you want to um, it doesn't have to be all that flash and it doesn't have to be a box even and I've got several methods here of how to make things and some of the things you don't even need um, you can use bits of paper if you want or anything else but if you want something that's sort of semi-permanent uh, these are several methods of doing things in a semi-permanent mode so that you can play the game after and after and after and after for ever and ever sort of thing uh, I've got a few items and what I do is I print out the numbers on my bubble jet printer so you print them to a certain size about a quarter of an inch by about a quarter of an inch that's all uh, what's that about uh, a centimetre or so just a centimetre and a half or something like that and uh, those are there and then you just cut them off into little pieces and uh, I've got one here which is not even stuck on it's just a piece of paper and a little bit of card that's two millimetre card but you could use one millimetre card whatever you like it's just a two millimetre card it's a bit more substantial you could stick one millimetre card together to make two millimetre card obviously um, I think um, Kellogg's carton packages are about um, uh, 600 microns I think they're a bit thinner than a, a thousand microns is a, a millimeter so 600 microns is, is considerably less so you need two of them and that would only give you 1200 that'll just give you just over the one the one millimeter so they need to be relatively thick to give you a thingy but you can use them as well and uh, what you do is you number them from one to nine which is a normal gameplay so you play with nine pieces and uh, the pieces can be made of, as I say, they can be made of little bits of card like this. And here's a little, that's a one millimetre card there. Two bits of one millimetre card there. And if you stuck them together, you'd have uh, two millimetre card. And then you could cut them, but they're getting a bit stiff to cut with a uh, thingy. One millimetre card, you can cut with a pair of scissors. Two millimetre cards, you need a knife or something sharp uh, to cut them with and cut them accurately. And... Uh, Anyway, that's one method of doing it, and then you just stick the, the, the little bits on the top, your little pieces on the top, uh, after you've cut them out, or if you want to paint them, you can paint them, or you don't even have to paint them if you don't want to. And there is another method, uh, but you're using plastic chips, and you can't use an ordinary wood glue, so you'd have to use something like this, which is a super glue GP, which... Uh, it is a little bit dangerous to use you can't stick your fingers together with this it's, it's quite dangerous and it does take a long time to dry paper and two, two similar objects like two pieces of pl plastic will, will close together and, and seal within 15 seconds like your two fingers will close together and seal within less than 15 seconds if you stick your fingers but plastic and paper together take a little bit longer so I usually leave them for about an hour and what I do is you just put I'll get one of these as a zero and you just stick it on the top like that and you can see that it's like that and what I do is I usually put a little bit of the glue on first and then put that on let it rest and then put a bit on the top and it sets solid then forever so you can number your pieces like that it doesn't matter about the colors I don't suppose you can have as many as you want and these are just little chips you get from Amazon I think you get a hundred for about two pound or something like that so as you can see that um, I'll just zoom in on that for you. I'm not quite sure whether you can see that or not. Yeah, there you can see I've put a 7 and a 0 on and you just stick it on with this glue. And I usually use, um, I don't get anywhere near this stuff with my fingers. I'm just trying to get around the legs on this machine. I know you can't see them and it doesn't seem as though it's difficult, but it's quite difficult for me to try and get around this because I haven't got a lot of room and this is only a 9x9 room and a couple of chairs in it and me in there's not much room at all yeah so what I do I just this just stuff doesn't stick to the lid or anything like that it doesn't stick on the lid or anything but it will stick stick your fingers so I usually put the bits on and then tap them down to make sure that they've gone down properly if they're raising it, until it sets and then that's it so be very careful with this stuff I do uh, I don't let kids anywhere near this stuff, it's very, very dangerous. Uh, it'll stick your eyelids up, it'll stick everything up. Your lips, your mouth, because you normally you touch your mouth with your fingers and everything, so it'll stick your lips. <laughs> it's, it's quite... So, 
use this with great care. Um, the other thing is that you can use, I use bits of a, a pole of wood, I've got them in here. My boy asked me what I used these for the other day, <laughs> I said game pieces, and he said you don't, I said I do. And uh, I've got I've got a pole here, which are, they're about two or three pound these, but you, you get a few, you can get a few game pieces out of these, and they're already cleaned up on the outside, whereas the bits that I've been using here are uh, exactly the same, but they've been used for a long time and the, the, the outsides are brown, so you've got to clean the outside. With this one, you don't have to clean the outside once you've cut it. But they are difficult to cut, and I've never been able to cut them in a in a straight line. I've done my best there, but it's, it's eight of an inch on one side and quarter of an inch on the other, so you've got to get your little uh, emery cloth out and, and rub them down to to the shape you require, But and the less straight they are, the more work you've got. But it does work, and you can stick your numbers on there. You cut your numbers out, a little bit bigger numbers, but these these are haven't been cut to shape, but you can see what I mean. All you do is you cut them out, and uh, Yeah, you just cut it out once it's on to whatever shape you want and then stick them on. These, these will stick with wood glue. Wood on there will stick in uh, bookbinders glue or any kind of paste will, will do virtually for that. They'll stick quite happily on paper and wood together. And here's one I've done which I've cleaned up which took me a considerable time. I'll just back up on this one so that you can see it properly. And you can see I've took a long time on this but if you're young you can take the time and you're only going to make nine of these or twelve at the most. And you can paint them any colour you want, you can paint them red, green, blue, black, whatever you um, I suggest you use a paint, an oil based paint, not 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 an acrylic, acrylic paint seems to knock off for some reason, I'm not, I'm not too fussy about acrylic paints. But anyway, if you want to use acrylic paints you can, it makes no difference. So, that's another method, and I bought some little tiles um, from Harold Muck in Mush and Gladbach. I keep mentioning his name, but I'm really satisfied with the stuff I get from him. And uh, I bought, um, I think these are about, I will say Fennigs, they're not Fennigs. I used to be in Germany when, when it was Fennigs and Marks, Deutsch Marks. But now it's uh, Euros. And these are, I don't know what, they, I don't know what a Euro coin, uh, coins are, I don't know what they call them. Um, uh, Euro coins. <laughs> but, uh, These are about five or six, uh, a euro is divided into a hundred and there's, the, you get, there's six of them, I can't, I can't think of the word, it's just escaped me, but there's, they're about six, uh, six percent of a euro, <laughs> that's all I can say, <laughs> and I buy about a hundred or so at a time, and you pay about five or something like this or whatever, and uh, what I do is I stick the numbers on which you can see there, um, from one to nine, two, three, four, I hope you can see this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not forgetting to put the six with a line underneath it and the nine with a nine underneath it. You can use six and nine together if you want. But um, yeah, so that's one way of playing. I, I'm going to show you, tell you, explain a little about the rules in a minute. I'm just showing you how to make uh, shut the box for the moment. Uh, and you can play. There's a new game now where you can play with ten. So there's nine, that's it. That's the normal game, the standard game, and it's a very old game, shut the box, um, and this is one where you can play it with ten, and there is another variation where you can play it with eleven and twelve, so I've made sort of twelve there, I'll just move these out of the way because you must be getting a bit confused with all these little bits and numbers and things, so I'll move them out of the way. So I've just shown you the various methods you can make, use to make certain things. So the game can be played with nine, nine pieces or ten pieces, eleven, uh, eleven and twelve, and uh, it's played with two dice. And the the standard variation is that you throw the two dice, and what you do is if you get 
here I've got a 9. So you can say either 9 or you can say 6 and 3. Yeah, you've got a 6 and a 9, so you can either throw 10 over a 3 and a 6. Or you can turn over a single 9. And in this case, I'll turn over the 9. And you throw again, and you keep going until you can't move anymore. So that's 5 and a 3, so you could close off 5 and a 3, or you could close off... Uh, eight on its own like so I'll close off the eight and you throw again and I've done an eight again so now I've got to go five and a three or seven and a one or six and a two uh, five and a three I'll go that's me eight that's eleven so I'm not using 11, so it's 6 and a 4. 6 and 4, luckily I kept them over. 6 and a 1, 7. 7, well I can't go anymore because I've got 1, 2 and a 10. Or I wasn't using the 10 was it? it was only 9. So I can't use them at all and you can't use one dice on its own so I'm left with three. So that would count against you three and then the next player would have his go. And it's as simple as that. Um, the only thing that I've done different is that I've added the 10 which would you, you could continue the game to a 10 and you could add two on for 12. It just makes the game longer that's all. And there's some parts of the game where you can use um, uh, you can multiply uh, so if you've got you've thrown three and a four you could say three fours a twelve so you could take the twelve off and so on that's that's another variation there's variations in the rules and the rules are quite easy to get off the net so there's no problem and the, I've got these here the bicycle things here which I've been left on view and what I've done with them is there are three colors these are quite reasonably cheap I, I didn't really have any use for them but they were a bit big for what I wanted but um, the white ones were quite useful and I used the reds and the blue ones for something else in a game as well so I, I, they do come in useful and they're from I buy them from everything here is from Amazon so if there's anything not made it's bought from Amazon in, in the um, off the net and I use these white tiles here chips they're called chips and they stack and everything and they're, they're quite useful and they've got a nice nice feel to them but they are plastic and um, they've got a little card on one side I don't know if you can see that I don't know how good that is I can't see it from here and on the other side it's got um, the bicycle the bicycle logo I don't know how well you can see that I'm trying to get it in view I can't see it myself here and um, so what I use them for is, I'll just move these out of the way to give myself some room. Uh, I've made a little box, I mean I, I make boxes but you don't have to, you don't have to be a box, you can put them anywhere. And I've numbered them from 1 to 12 and you do exactly the same thing. The only thing I've got on mine is that I've got the 6 is a black and the 9 is a red. So you know which one is 6 and which one is 9. And uh, you play the game as, as normal. And th these, these, will, these will be held in, uh, in your game, what they call them, forever. I mean, you can keep these forever now. You don't have to keep making them up if you don't make them out of paper or anything. But that's just several ways of making things. And these are made in the same way. I use a uh, little bits of paper cut to shape. You can see that they're, it's, they're pretty rough actually. They're, made, they're not made all that well. But you can see around here the way I've cut it just to fit in the middle. And um, I use these numbers from something else. That's why I've cut them down to size. But you, you can print them out any size you want. I forget what size these are. I think they're about 40 or something like that. 40 size fonts. And if I'd have done 30 or something like that they would have fitted in the middle quite nicely and they cut to shape quite nicely. But uh, I've used that glue to stick them on because it is 
it is plastic this and uh, be very careful when you use that uh, GP glue <laughs> but there you are anyway that's how you make shut the box a few different methods without using a box at all anyway I hope that's been some use to somebody and you've enjoyed it or it's helped somebody or I haven't annoyed everybody again anyway.